Hey you guys, I'm back with a new video. In today's video, I filmed this really pretty look for you guys. So if you want to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. Okay, so starting off with my brows already done, I'm about to prime my eyelids with the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Warm Honey. I'm blending out the concealer with a Real Techniques brush. The reason for using the concealer as a primer is so I can have a blank canvas for my shadows. I don't know why, but the shadows appear more and they blend well. Now I'm setting the concealer in place so that the concealer won't crease and this is what really makes the eyeshadow blend well. I'm using my BH Cosmetics palette. This is my favorite palette of all time. Um, I'm taking that brown shade and I'm going to be using that as my transition color. Now using the same palette, I'm going to be taking that dark purple color to kind of deepen my crease. I was trying to blend it out with the fluffy brush. It just wasn't working. So now I'm taking my e.l.f. brush. I don't know what kind of brush is used, but I'm just putting that in my crease with this brush. And now I'm going to be going back with the other brush to blend it all out. Okay, so I already have one I done. Y'all, this is my first time attempting a cut crease, so please bear with me. Um, this was really hard to me, but I feel like I did a really good job for my first time. But to cut my crease, I'm just using that same concealer and a um, small concealer brush that I got off of eBay. And as you can see, I made a little mistake on my crease, so I'm just going back with that fluffy brush and I'm just blending the concealer in with the shadows and it was perfectly fine. 
using that same palette I'm taking that pink shade and I'm going to be using that as my base Now the glitter that I am using is craft glitter like I stated in my last video um, if you want to take that chance go ahead but what I did was just mix all of the glitters together and that's how I got this look on the glitter I am using wet and wild eyeshadow primer I didn't I don't have any glitter glue so I just had to improvise what I had Y'all, right here, this eyeshadow palette was trying me. Like, it was really trying to fight with me. So, <laughs> I had to force it open. Okay, so right here, I'm just cleaning up the top lid with that same pink shadow. Using that same shadow, I'm just applying that to my lower lash line. Now just taking some e.l.f. mascara, I'm going to be using this mascara to coat my bottom and top lashes. For my lashes, I'm going to be using the Ardell Wispy Lashes. Starting off with the face, for foundation, I'm going to be using the Black Opal Foundation in the shade Beautiful Bronze. For concealer, I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade On, and I use the shade Toffee as well. Now taking my damp beauty blender, I'm blending out those two concealers under my eye. I did go ahead and set my concealer off of camera. I used the airspun powder, of course, and I'm going to be dusting that away with my Black Radiance Purse Powder in the shade Golden Cashew. Now I'm contouring my nose with a dark brown shade in that BH Cosmetics palette.
<laughs> now I'm using my Wet n Wild um, highlighter in the shade Crown of My Canopy. Y'all, this is my favorite highlighter of all time. Like, I cannot stop using this. I love this. Starting off with the lips, I'm going to be using this dark brown pencil that I got from my local beauty supply store. Now for my lips. I'm going to be using this concealer as a new lipstick. Makeup is makeup. You put it whatever. You do whatever. You have to improvise what you have. And right here, I'm just adding some gloss that I got from Forever 21. It's a new gloss. I just added that on the top. I don't have any cute slow-mos this time. This is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye.